Hello, big boy. It's Baba. Now then, you need to tell me what it is you've been doing today, okay? So that I know and you can talk to me and I can talk back to you on the message. So give your phone to Mama, get the phone off Mama and tell her to record stuff, okay? Today's story is the story of Ferdinand. And I don't know if you look closely, you can see the picture of Ferdinand. Ferdinand's in the middle of the of the book. And this is by a person called Munro Leaf. It's an old story, it's an old, old story. But can you see what Ferdinand might be? Can you see? Ferdinand is a bull in Spain. El Toro Feroz Ferdinand. Oh! And this Toro is bull. So look, the story of Ferdinand. Once upon a time in Spain. There was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. You can see them there, look, butting their heads together. But not Ferdinand, no. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. Mm. He had a favourite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favourite tree and he would sit there in its shade all day and smell the flowers. In the distance, you can see all the other balls butting their heads. Sometimes, his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome by all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little balls and skip and butt your head? She would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here, where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome, and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she, she let him just sit and be there all happy, smelling the flowers. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. Look, you can see the poster. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in, came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. All the other balls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce, and maybe the men would pick them for the fights in Madrid. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care. 
so he went out to his favourite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting and instead of sitting on a nice cool grass in the shade he sat on a bumblebee. <gasps> well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? Would you sting him? And that's what the bee did. It stung Ferdinand. <gasps> wow! But did it hurt? Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. <gasps> the five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart on the way to Madrid. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. Look, they're going up to the Galleria. They had a parade into the bullring. First came the bandoleros with the long sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Next came the picadors who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull to make him even madder. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull and you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. Can you see Ferdinand in the corner? They called him Ferdinand the Fierce and all the bandoleros were afraid of him and the picadors were afraid of him and the matador was scared stiff. <sighs> Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he sat the flowers. He saw the flowers in all the la lovely lady's hair and he just sat down and quietly smelled the air. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the bandoleoth were mad and the picadors were madder and the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off his cape and his sword. <laughs> and so they had to take Ferdinand home in a cart. And for all I know he's sitting there still under his favourite cork tree, smelling the flowers, just quietly, and he is very happy. Hmm. A story about doing what you like to do, Mackenzie. If you like to do something, then that's what you do. If you like to smell flowers, smell the flowers. If you want to paint, and you want to read, or you want to make movies, it's up to you. It's up to you. You decide. All right, big boy? You do what's best for you. No, night, night, big boy. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. You know why? Because Baba loves you. That's why. Night, night. <laughs>